Coronary Artery Circulation The coronary arteries arise from the base of the aorta, and they course through the epicardial surface of the heart. Then they dive deep into the myocardium. The blood supply to the heart is supplied by the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery and their branches. They are fed during diastole. The left coronary artery of the heart. It has two branches and it provides 60% of flow into the myocardium. And that is the reason why whenever there is going to be a lesion or a pathology in the left coronary artery, the implication is very, very big because of the fact that, again, it supplies 60% of the myocardium. Now, the left anterior descending coronary artery, which I am pointing right over here in this area, if you could see um, my pointer right over here. As you can see, this is the left anterior descending coronary artery. It feeds the left anterior wall as well as the uh, portions of the left ventricular lateral wall. In addition to that, it feeds two-thirds of the interventricular septum. And as far as the cardiac conduction system is concerned, it is the one that is responsible that supplies blood to the right and left bundle branches. Now, another branch of the left coronary artery is, of course, the circumflex coronary artery right over here. And the circle goes around from the word circumflex circle around, and it feeds the left atrium as well as the left ventricular anterior lateral wall as well as the posterior wall. The right coronary artery, on the other hand, right over here, as you can see, is the one that's going to be responsible to um, the blood supply of the right atrium and the right ventricle, as well as the inferior portion of the left ventricle. Now, uh, it gives rise to the posterior descending coronary artery right over here. This is the posterior descending coronary artery right over here in majority of the cases. And therefore, if it comes from the right side, the PDA or the posterior descending coronary artery, we would call this a right dominant circulation. Coronary arterial dominance is defined by the vessel which gives rise to the posterior descending coronary artery, which supplies um, uh, the inferior third of the interventricular septum. Most hearts, uh, approximately around 80 to 85 percent of the population, are right dominant where the PDA is going to be supplied by the right coronary artery. Now, in the minority of the cases, as you could see over here, the posterior descending coronary artery will come from the left coronary artery. Okay? But in 80 to 85% of the population, the PDA is going to uh, come from the right coronary artery. So, these are, in summary, therefore, the two coronary arteries that are responsible for supplying blood into the heart, the left coronary artery as well as the right coronary artery. All right, so I just wanted to um, outline a little bit over here what's going to be the dominant um, areas that are going to be supplied by each of these arteries. So over here in this area right here is going to be the um, lateral portion, and the lateral portion of the myocardium is going to be supplied by the left circumflex coronary artery. And then, of course, the other area that are going to be important is going to be in this particular area right here. All right. So this particular area is going to be your um, anterior portion. So this is the anterior portion. And then, of course, uh, over on this area is going to be your septal portion. And, of course, your anterior portion and your septal portion are going to be supplied by the left coronary artery. And lastly, the inferior portion of the myocardium, which is this one. This inferior portion is going to be supplied by the right coronary artery. So, why did I emphasize that? 
I emphasize that because as you can see, the three major areas that are going to be supplied by the left coronary artery, namely your lateral portion, your septal portion, and the anterior portion of the myocardium. The right coronary artery, on the other hand, is going to supply the inferior portion of the left ventricle. That concludes our discussion on coronary blood supply.